Hello everybody, guess what I have as a Christmas treat for all of you guys and more importantly for my family. Guys, I have been given the pleasure, I have previously tested, I'm gonna hold it up here, the Immersion Blender from Redmond. I am actually using this again today, but this is not the focus. What I am making, guys, you've seen in my grocery hauls that we buy the bulk pack of the Pillsbury cinnamon rolls, the Cinnabon style ones that come with a little cup of frosting in them or icing so that you can put them on them after they bake. One thing I love about this kind of stuff, guys, and if you've never paid attention, I highly recommend you do, a lot of packaging has recipes on it. And when I was asked to test, guys, I gotta hang it, hold it up here and show you. When I was asked to test a waffle maker from Redmond, I could not have been more tickled uh, because I knew there were several in my family who were going to be over the moon about this. But here's a confession first really quick. I don't like waffles. Um, to be completely honest, traditional waffle batter, I kind of despise. I think it's nasty. But I know several of my family like them, and I know there's alternatives because many years ago we had a different Belgian waffle maker, and we made, we just made pancake batter in the waffle maker. Uh, so much better than traditional waffles, in my opinion. Everybody liked it, and I could eat them as well. That being said though, guys, these cinnamon rolls have a recipe on the back to turn these cinnamon rolls into waffles using a waffle iron and taking that little cup of icing and stretching it a lot farther to actually make, now I'm gonna see if I can pull this up, show this up here, to actually make an icing on there. And guys, on that note, you can see the recipe there really quick. I shouldn't get in trouble with Pillsbury for that because it's on the outside of the box. If they didn't want to share it, they shouldn't have put it there. But you can also find it on their website if you look. Uh, on that note, Pillsbury, thanks you, thank you for putting that there so you can make this demo even easier because guys, I am going to show you how this Redmond Waffle Maker works. I have no clue, I have not used it yet. I did pull it out of the box before this because I want to keep this video fairly short and simple because guys, it, we're getting towards Christmas. Everything is getting so busy and I want to get this up for you so that you can see it so you can order yours if you need to before Christmas because could you imagine having these as waffles on Christmas morning? Like we always do these uh, for Christmas morning anyhow. Doing it waffle style instead is going to be so much fun. So let me go ahead. I'm going to follow the recipe to get the icing thinned out, get everything preheated. I'm going to show you guys that process. Okay guys, so before I actually start cooking the cinnamon rolls, which I am very close to doing, I wanted to give you a quick rundown of the waffle maker as I'm using it, show you guys the different features on this. Um, I am gonna have to be careful because it is plugged in and it is hot. Um, you guys are gonna have to see a little bit of my cooking mess, but that's pretty typical at this point. So let me flip this and I'll show you guys. Okay, so first of all guys, I have managed to spill powdered sugar all over. Um, what I can tell you is that as of right now, like this, it does have a heat caution. It is not hot yet um, on the outer level there. Now, both indicator lights are on, so this does actually is ready to be used. I have got my icing sitting over here waiting uh, for us to finish cooking. Uh, one thing that this has is it does have a safety latch, which it, guys, funny story, I always laugh and say that adults need more instructions than kids. Uh, it took me a minute to figure it out. You actually have to push the top in as you lift it. And there's the waffle maker. It is nice and hot. When you close the lid, it latches right back down. I have got my cinnamon roll sitting here waiting, the empty icing cup, because that was mixed into the icing there. It had powdered sugar, milk, and vanilla extract uh, blended together with the existing icing from the cup. We will pour that over the cinnamon rolls when we're done. Now let me get my camera set back up so I can show you guys. And guys, cooking for a camera is always very awkward. Uh, this is not going to be any different. I've got this turned sideways so that you guys will be able to see it from my camera and I will still be able to cook and we'll go from there. Okay guys, so previously I did make one mistake. I double checked it in the manual. I had said that the orange or the red and the green lights together, uh, it should be ready. That was, I was wrong. That is actually when it is preheating. When the green light turns off on this waffle maker is when it is actually ready. Now it does say... For your first use, they recommend dropping some oil on the plate. I already have my oil spray here, so I am just gonna give a really good spray this time around. 
That said, I gotta pump up my oil sprayer some more. Because we do not use aerosolized oils in our house. So, because these do look like cast iron uh, plates, guys. So, there is that. It is latched down. I'm gonna let it heat back up again for just a second. Um, I'm so thankful that this apron has a towel attached to it. Okay, let's throw these on. Now, according to Pillsbury's instructions, these take an average of two to three minutes to cook, and I can cook four of these at a time. There are eight in a tube, so I will be able to make eight cinnamon roll waffles together. Okay guys, this is steaming, which it is supposed to do. Oh my goodness, check that out. We're sitting right at two and a half minutes, and I thought they were starting to smell done, and I was not wrong. Check out how beautiful these look. Now there is some cinnamon spilled into the plates in the waffle iron that, um, honestly, I kind of expected. It will take a little bit of extra cleanup than normal waffles when all is said and done, but it won't be that bad. Redmond actually gives some great instructions on how to properly clean these. So we will just follow those instructions when we are all done with this. You let this cool completely before you clean it. I am going to go ahead and finish cooking these four, which is only going to take another two and a half minutes or so. Uh, I have some teenagers that are waiting for these. We will take our icing that we mixed up with the whisk attachment on the immersion blender and spoon it over these uh, cinnamon roll waffles. And guys, I cannot wait to taste these. All right, guys, so I have got a beautiful plate of cinnamon roll waffles. Two of them are already missing because I have one teenager who's already enjoying them. And I have one prepared here. Tip this down. You guys can see that. So you guys can see that icing that we made there. Um, we just spooned that over the top of it. And like the teenager who's already enjoying one said, uh, perfect little waffle holes to hold that icing. Um, which would be the case for syrup on most instances, but in this particular case, it's a cinnamon roll with icing. That was really good. So guys, I can truly say that this waffle maker from Redmond is going to get so much use in our household. Not only is this going to be a fun new treat that I'm pretty sure the teenagers are going to be making on a regular basis, we are going to go back to using our pancake batter. We love to drop chocolate chips, berries, other random stuff in that batter um, and make waffles that way. Uh, it's, it's been a really long time since we've had waffles in our house and I'm really excited about this. So thank you to Redmond for sending this to us to try. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. If you try or have already tried the waffle recipe from Pillsbury, let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what your take was on it. In the meantime, guys, I hope you're having a blessed day. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss everything else coming up next. And I'll see you in the next one. Do you need to come steal a waffle? They're really good. Well, I want a waffle.